All right, guys, so I waited like, it's been about an hour and 45 minutes. Uh, the temperature inside the chamber seemed to stabilize at about 187, 188. So I decided to go ahead and add another split to try and get that temp up, you know, another 30, 35 degrees before I put my meat on. So one thing that I, I know for certain is the advice that I have received from several people on Barbecue Brethren and Amazing Ribs is you need to have smaller smaller pieces of wood inside of the firebox. And it's pretty clear to me that I need a mechanism to start cutting my splits down because I think that will allow them to burn more efficiently um, all the way around. So that's a, a definite, that will definitely be my next move is to go ahead and, and get something to, uh, to cut these splits down. So yeah, it looks like it'll be, you know, about two hours in before I feel like I have the right temperature to put my meat on. So I know that that's, that's not efficient. Um, I, I think that it really should be taking, you know, around an hour, hour and 15 minutes tops before, um, you know, I have a good temperature inside of my chamber. So I think having smaller splits uh, will improve that endeavor greatly. But for now, I'm just going to have to to do the best I can. 182.6. So it definitely is increasing. And it seems like getting that fire door closed after getting, you know, a good flame going inside of the firebox to make sure that that new split catches is helping. So I have to be cognizant of that. Um, you know, I've heard about many other offsets where, you know, you need to keep your door cracked open at all times. I don't see that that's the case with this new 20 by 42 offset redesign from Lone Star Grills. The seal on the firebox is tight and it does seem that things will burn more efficiently with that firebox do door closed and the damper open. Uh, the damper on my smokestack has been open. Um, the ball valve is open. Now, I opted not to cook with water. I feel like I need to get a grasp on just cooking with, with wood, you know, before I add water to the mix. I'm already trying to learn, you know, enough as it is. So yeah, I'm not quite ready to add the water component. So where we're at now, Fireboard says we're at 208.5. Temperature gauge is about 200, so about uh, eight degrees warmer at the uh, grate level. So I gotta, I gotta get this meat on. I, I can't. I can't sit here and wait three hours before I even get started on these ribs, uh, which are going to take the longest to smoke. So I'm going to add my ribs okay, to 12.1. So this, this is what I've been trying to get to you. So I got three different types of ribs going and I'm going to use toothpicks to uh, help me remember what's what. But this one is 
Malcolm Reed's The Barbecue Rub. Okay, so this one has a pecan rub. So this is my first time using this rub on ribs. I've used it on chicken. And I forget the name of the company. It's uh, John something. I can't think of the name off the top of my head, but I'm hoping that this will taste good with ribs. Okay guys, so I've had the ribs on the smoker now for almost 30 minutes. And what I'm really trying to do now is, you know, find the right rhythm. So, after I put the ribs on, the temperature actually got up to around 240, 245, which surprised me. But I guess I finally found a good mix, you know, in terms of having the firebox door sealed with enough oxygen coming in through the damper. Uh, I monitored the temperature, watched it until it fell to around 210. And that's when I added another split to the firebox that had been sitting on top of it uh, pre-warming. Kept the firebox door open for maybe a minute or two. Um, saw the temperature begin to rise. So then I closed the firebox door again and kind of let it do its thing. So now we are at, we're actually at 272, almost 273. So my thought process for all along was that I'd be comfortable, you know, smoking anywhere from like 225 to 275. I really didn't think that it would, um, even really approach 275 but I guess we we got it going now so I guess um, that's why I'm seeing the temperatures get up that high so now we're at 274 so I'm actually going to close the damper a little bit it's maybe about halfway I really don't want it to get above 275 by too much, so hopefully that'll keep it reasonable, like I'm at 275.1, and just like that it dropped at 274.2, so hopefully this will allow me to have a stabilized temperature, like I said, between 225 and 275. So now that that's going, and I'll continue to, to monitor, and I'll probably again add another split when the temperature falls to maybe around 210, 205 maybe even as low as 200 I don't know I'm trying to find that sweet spot for knowing you know when I should be adding a new split but one of the things I really was excited about with uh, the Lone Star Grills design of their offset is you know it, it does have a griddle and I haven't eaten anything and I'm excited to try my griddle for the first time I want to I picked up some sausages uh, the other day at the farmer's market and uh, yeah I want to get those on this on the griddle and have myself some breakfast I mean it's it's 11 15 a.m. And, and I haven't eaten yeah. 
Here's something I'm curious about. Now I know I can definitely cook these just the way they are, but I wonder if I wanted to get an even hotter temperature. Yeah, there's enough clearance where I can close that top and, and let that griddle go. Um, just like that. And that'll help me keep a, a nice hot temperature on that griddle plate. So I think I'm going to let that go for about five minutes and then I'll turn it over. Probably do another four or five minutes and then I'll start checking the temp on it. So I'll let you know how this goes. Um, Smoker is sitting at 244.7, so yeah, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good, feeling like I'm, I'm in the pocket. So, you know, I think my biggest challenge is getting the, the fire started. And it was really the same challenge that I had coming into this cook. I mean, it took me two hours to get my coals and, and everything and get the, the smoker up to the right temperature so that that's something i have to work on but i like i said i think utilizing smaller splits will go a long way to helping me get better at this all right i'll check back so the sausages have been on for about 10 minutes like they're just about done. Yeah, 160 on the one in the middle. 152. So I'm gonna, wow, look at all that juice. And that gives you a little bit of a sneak peek. So they're taking on some pretty nice color. my spicy concoction there on the bottom. So actually at this point, I think I wanna get my chicken on. So I think I'm gonna put my chicken on the top grate over here on the left side closest to the smokestack. So that'll be my next, my next move. So I've got, uh, I've got about 12 chicken thighs, so I'm going to see if I can fit them all on here. Definitely gonna have to put some on the bottom. So I got two racks of ribs on top with about four, seven, nine chicken thighs. And I'm gonna add three more to the bottom. So the chicken is starting to already get some color, but there you see on the ribs, I think they still need time because they're you're not really getting any pullback from the bone. Yeah. Close it back up and let these ribs 
go a while longer before I think about whether or not I'm going to wrap them. I'm pretty sure I will, but I do want to get more more pull back from the bone. I think they've got a, a ways to go. Okay, guys. Well, it's a little bit past 5 p.m. I've been going at this for a long time. I'm uh, pretty beat, actually. Let's see, ribs have been on the smoker now for six hours and 20 minutes. They've been wrapped up uh, for more than an hour and I'm about ready to call this. Um, Cause I need to get this food out to my parents' house before they start calling and saying, where's the food? So yeah, it's about time to uh, put a wrap on this cook. So I have some corn on the cob that I wrapped as well. So I'm, I'm hopeful that it got hot enough to be uh, sufficiently cooked. So I managed to get the cook done. Everyone enjoyed it. The ribs did turn out to be very well, very tender, nice smoke flavor to it. Unfortunately, in my rush uh, to get things done, I, I forgot to take a picture of the ribs, uh, the final product, but I did snap a, a shot of the chicken. So I'm hoping to get a chance to fire up my LSG later on this evening. Um, I intend to use some of the tips that I've received uh, over the course of making these videos. So I'm pretty excited about that. I think I'm going to have better success. Um, since then, I was able to get this kindling cracker. It arrived yesterday. I haven't opened it up yet, but I'm thinking, I'm thinking that this should help me make um, better size splits. Uh, I also found a local resource for uh, oak wood. So I was able to uh, load up my truck and bring a bu bunch of it home. So hopefully this will last me a little while here. Um, this, uh, this shelf here holds about a third of a cord and then I've got some some extra so I don't know how much I got in total probably about half a cord um, but I'm thinking this should last me a, a nice little stretch all right until the next one thanks again for your support please continue to send your comments your questions I really do appreciate it I'll see you in the next one